What's up everyone? My name is Hector. This is Everything Horror where we like to talk about everything horror. Today I want to talk about Halloween Horror Nights. And guess what? Halloween Horror Nights is going to have creep show. Oh my gosh! <laughs> what? Wow. Now if you guys don't know, Halloween Horror Nights was at Midsummer Scream. They uh, gave a little look into uh, what they're going to have this year at Halloween Horror Nights. And uh, they gave a peek at uh, another IP that they're going to have as a maze and they talked a little bit about the scare zones that they're going to have uh, gave a little look into um, some of the de creature designs and uh, uh, some of the room designs but the main thing I want to talk about is creep show is going to be at Halloween Horror Nights Wow I had just talked about creep show uh, being rebooted in an earlier video and uh, I had no idea that it was going to be in Halloween Horror Nights and holy crap, it's at Halloween Horror Nights. I can't stop saying it. This is my first year ever going to Halloween Horror Nights and they're going to have some of my favorite IPs. Now to start off, they kind of talked about what they were going to have in the maze. They're going to have a mix of the original creep show and then they're going to have uh, two rooms or two parts of the maze uh, with the reboot of creep show. So the first three rooms are going to be, uh, the first one is Father's Day. If you guys don't know, Father's Day is about a father that comes back to life from the grave. Uh, he looks very skeletal and zombie-like, and uh, he kills his children. Yeah. That's Father's Day. Now what they really talked about for this part of the haunt, uh, and maybe they're going to implement it throughout the, the whole entire haunt, is uh, lighting. Uh, the lighting in the original creep show uh, is very unique they really uh, try to bring a comic book into life a horror comic into life and with that they had that lighting and uh, i think it's brilliant on their part that they're actually implementing that into the rooms inside the haunt i think that's very smart and uh, and it's going to bring an authenticity to the actual maze. But yeah, the next room was the crate. That is my favorite segment from Creep Show, and oh my god, I am so excited, you guys. Wow. <laughs> I love the crate. It is such an awesome segment. If you have ever seen Creep Show, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, if you don't know, the crate is about a uh, college professor and uh, one of his students uh, encounter an old crate. And they open up the crate and uh, they encounter a fearsome creature. Now what they showed was how they were going to have a scare actor play the actual creature. So what they had to do was hide uh, the rest of the body of the scare actor in order to, you know, perfect the scare with the creature. But we'll see how it goes. All I know is that I can't wait to see it firsthand. Now the next room that they're going to have is they're creeping up on you, which is about a man. He's like a germaphobe. And uh, he keeps his apartment really nice and clean, uh, super white, very white. And uh, something happens to the fact that the power goes out and uh, all these cockroaches end up infesting his, his uh, actual apartment. And what ends up happening is uh, they come out of uh, his body. So he becomes infested. <laughs> very disturbing. Now for this room, I'm wondering how they're going to perfect the effect of the roaches. Um, I'm wondering how they're going to do that without actually having real live roaches um, crawling up on you. Um, so we'll see how that goes. And then the last two are going to be from the reboot. Uh, the first one is Grey Matter, which is another infestation, but an infestation of mold. Um, this one, I'm not really sure what will happen in that. It'll definitely be a surprise to me. I don't know if they're going to have some kind of mold creature or what, but uh, we'll see. Um, especially since we don't really know what to go off of since the Creep Show reboot hasn't been premiered yet. So we don't really know what to go off of. Now, the next room is called Bad Wolf Down. Um, I think it has something to do with werewolves because they, they kept talking about the full moon and I don't know, werewolf elements. So the name of the title uh, kind of shows it might be something that has to do with a werewolf. Or maybe it's animal wolves, we'll see. And they showed uh, some blueprints of the rooms. Uh, they had like a, a jail cell, a French jail, 
But yeah, in the panel, they talked about the scare zones. They showed some, they showed some artwork of uh, some of the creature designs that they were going to have for some of the scare zones. I'm really excited for that spirits and demons of the east. That scare zone looks really creative. Some of the creature designs that they have look top notch. And uh, there's one that actually really creeps me out. Um, if you guys ever seen the Grudge movies, that movie creeped me out as a kid. Um, even though it's kind of bad when you watch it now. Um, but it really messed me up as a kid. And uh, I've always been scared of uh, uh, pale women um, crawling around all weird. They're going to have a creature design like that. And uh, they're going to be on stilts. But yeah, that's the scare zone that I'm really excited for. And to me, it looks the most creative. They also talked about Fallen Angels, uh, Toxic Tunnel. Um, from what I hear, that's been there for like a couple of years already. Toxic Tunnel. There's Christmas in Hell. And then there's going to be the All Hollows Evil, um, which also looks really cool. They have some pretty creative designs for that one as well. I had no idea that they were going to have this at Halloween Horror Nights. And I'm kind of tripping out and I'm enjoying it. I'm so happy. <laughs> this is going to be a really good year. For my first year ever going to Halloween Horror Nights, this year looks like it's going to be top notch. It's a lot of the IPs that I love and I just can't wait to see it in person. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. That's going to be it for this video. If you like what you saw in this video, please go ahead and subscribe. There's going to be more of it. And uh, I want to thank you again for watching and uh, take care. Anyways, my name is Hector. This was Everything Horror. And I hope you have a great day. Take care, peeps.